This is the first video of the motor series in which we take one of these motors and put them on really anything. They are all brushless motors. This one, yeah, kind of big. Getting scarier. Straight up death machine. Today's video is all about the 120 millimeter ducted fan of awesomeness shown by the stats here. Yes, eventually we are going to power this motor. I just don't want to spend the one grand on a one kilo amp speed controller. I started by 3D printing the boat frame. I've made it several times before, it just works. Covered it in silicone epoxy for waterproofing and printed a simple in-water steering mechanism. Painted the entire hull with chrome effect, which uh, I at this very moment realized was a huge mistake. What the f Then I did some soldering. This specific electric speed controller is on the smaller side. It was already adding up to be quite heavy, so I didn't care. Too bad this chunk of tungsten was the smallest 6L in my battery box. I found it quite surprising how you can take out each blade and just stack them together and it leaves it quite balanced. If you've ever balanced a propeller, you know that's kind of a big deal. Alright, so it shuts off. Why? All I did was install the propeller. Whoa! Okay, something got burned. Gosh, I can smell it now. It's so hot, dude. Something burned, but... Something got burned, but I have no idea what. It must have been the speed controller, but why? Okay, something was not working with that speed controller. It may have been something I blew up in the past. This is an ESC from the electric surfboard. It's much heavier. We're probably not even gonna have to use the water cooling because it just has so much mass. And so now we'll have to solder all the connections again. So I did the soldering. I did the steering. And I did scare myself with the motor. A quite a productive day, really. I put the fan together for a full power test, outside of course, as I wanted to live. Okay, I'm here. Let's put that thing in the water right there. And if it works, we'll go out on the raft. I don't think I need to tell you, but my past experience with these kind of boats are that they usually leak. Now that's a first. Let's plug a battery in it and uh, there's no way in hell it's not gonna blow off. The rudder is way further down than I expected, but everything else looks fine, which is the first time ever. So let's plug the battery in, there's no way it's not going to blow up. God damn it, the receiver battery is just so low, you can see it by the super small LED flashing. And so I'm gonna go home and uh, pick up another one. Okay, okay, I know it sounds like I'm not using full throttle here. I really am. There's a waterfall behind it washing out all the audio. 
I do not actually know if this motor is capable of 12S, aka 50 volts. What we just ran the motor at was 24 volts, aka 6S. We're putting two of these batteries in series to make it 12S. And that's going to be about 7,000 watts, which is just insane, but it doesn't matter because it's attached to a hippotamus. Hippopotamus. I'm gonna use that one. Wait, did I mention the voltage? I'm, I'm not, okay. I'm not sure if this motor is rated for 12S. Yes, I did mention. Okay, trying 12S, big boom possibility. Let's get it. At this point I scouted marketplace and found someone selling a bodyboard for kids. I bought it and figured, hey, it might be a better option to displace more water on a larger area than trying to cut the water with a hole. It will basically be an electric surfboard, but look way cooler. I'll transfer all the components, the motor, the speed controller, the battery, everything from this boat over to this bodyboard. The reason being is that I want to see if a V-shaped hole is worse than spreading, distributing the weight so that the uh, battery, 1.2 kilograms, speed controller, 800 grams, jet engine, I'm inducted fan, 1000 grams, three kilograms of weight. What I'll do is I'll take the board and make sure that it can carry three kilograms of weight before I even start anything else. We'll make two of these fins to put on the bottom side of the board so that it tracks well in the water. We'll make two We'll, we'll make two of these motor mounts to hold the motor and try to figure out what that is. I sketched up my ill-formed drawings, but both turned out quite nicely. I, I was shocked. I decided to mount the motor quite far back as I could always move the batteries around. That's way easier. And if you don't have these threaded inserts, what, what are you even doing with your life? Using one fin for traction in water and the same one for steering was a big brain moment. Too bad it didn't work out, I just ended up strapping a piece of plastic on a servo. As a final, somewhat desperate attempt, I removed the ducted fan, printed a new motor mount for this motor. No, the other one, that still yeah. works. The same motor that once pushed me on the electric surfboard. I mean, how could this possibly fail? The idea with the big propeller is to gain acceleration and sacrifice top speed so we can start planing on the water instead of just plowing ahead. Still running a 6L but high probability of propeller failure. So here we go. You can instantly tell that the acceleration is just way better. Wait. Oh. Did I cover? Fuck. 
as it wasn't heavy before we've added a second battery 48 volts if anything if anything blows up it's right about now okay here we are 12 cell one by us Okay, so for the first time it's actually a nose heavy. You can see it's dragging water in front of it. Alright, so we need to move these batteries around a bit. Oh gee, what have I done? I've moved the batteries back a bit to make it a bit tail heavy. And uh, now we're ready for attempt number 12. Oh gee. <laughs> That's so much power and it still doesn't go. That's really frustrating. Now this speed controller is compatible with a medium sized motor and I'm saying medium as in it could probably power a Tesla. Not really, but you see my point. I'm thinking something rideable, 20 kilowatts could probably get you up to speed. Though I think it's designed for a propeller, so comment down below what you would like me to strap this motor onto. Now obviously this wasn't such a Bitcoin success. Most likely it didn't work because of the weight. If we didn't have such a overkill speed controller and a ridiculously heavy battery setup, yeah, maybe it would have worked. Uh, I just used the stuff that I had to my disposal. So yeah, that's it. That's my excuse. Okay, that's it. Thank you kindly for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you ask me to upload more often, I'll take double the amount of time to upload the next. Wait, oh, did you see that? I hope not.